Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been such a long time since I actually did a sit down video, like proper sit down. It's been forever. And I thought that a nice way to reintroduce me back into the sit down videos is actually to do a collective haul. So some of the things that I've gotten within the last maybe three weeks to a month. And yeah, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, let me not waste any time dilly-dallying, talking, talking, and let's just get into it. Okay. So the first things that I'm going to get out of the way are beauty things. Didn't really buy too many things. It's like literally just three things. And I thought that I should share that with you. I am trying so hard to get away from beauty things. It's like... It's, it's not even funny. I'm trying so hard to not purchase any beauty items. But the first things that I got are these. And these are Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks because we're going into winter. So it's all about the matte lip, right? Yes. It's a trio pack. And basically, it's great colors for autumn. Like if you look at those colors though. Like I really love, really love these colors and one that I've been using a lot and if you follow me on Instagram you will know because I recently put up a picture of me wearing this color and this is uh, bitter sweet, and I love this color. This is the color that I've got on my lips today and the other color is Hudson which is slightly on the pinkier side and the darker one which is a little bit of a mix of red as well is dazed and i bought these from i see who makeup they're really really great anastasia has some great liquid lipsticks um yeah and i purchased these and the next two things are foundations and i absolutely love foundations i love trying out new foundations and for the first time around i decided to try out clinique foundations so the two foundations that i'm going to be showing you today are clinique foundations the first one is this one which is the chubby in the nude foundation stick that does not want to come out of its packaging. Uh, this is the Chubby in the Nude foundation stick. It's basically a chubby stick, which is also a foundation. It is so nice. I actually love between the two. I love this one the most. And I got the color Gargantuan Golden. Normally for me with Clinique foundations, I go with Golden. Golden, I've tried out samples before, but I've never really purchased a foundation until now and uh, with the samples I always went with golden I just I'm gonna be doing a beauty review on this so I don't want to talk too much about it but it is a it's a love it's a love and then the other foundation is this one this is beyond perfecting foundation which is the foundation that I've got on right now as we speak and I got the shade um, 23 ginger it's a lie Yes, it's not a lie. But this is a perfect match for me. It matches like y'all can see though. Y'all can see though though. It's it's like a really really good match for me. I love it. I've got some pros and some cons about this one, but I'll definitely mention this in a beauty review. The Beyond Perfecting was 540 and the um, uh, Chubby Stick was 415 just so you know price range and then one of the recent things that I got is a tripod if you follow me on Instagram on my insta stories I spoke about how my sister stole my gorilla tripod uh, because she is filming now so I thought that you know what let me just leave her with a gorilla tripod and let me get myself a man frotto tripod this is so nice it's great the adjustability the grip is really nice it's tiny like in comparison to my hand as you can see it obviously tripod things and you can adjust whether you want the can the camera to sit on uh, at a certain angle it's really really great i've used it for a while now and it's got um rubber grips at the bottom so that you can set it on any surface but i love manfrotto tripods one of our tripods here that we record with currently the one you are the camera you are sitting on right now is a manfrotto tripod as well so i'm a big big fan and i got this off of take a lot for around 300 350 rand it's a great tripod got nothing but good things to say about it so yeah and then moving on to books as you guys know i am an avid reader but lately i've been so bad 
so bad but the one book that i could get through which is pretty much like almost poetry or what have you is the sun and her flowers and this is by rupi Kaur. uh rupi Kaur is behind milk and honey as you know i loved milk and honey but i decided to go for the second one uh while i was in exclusive books one day and i saw it and it is great just as much as the first one it is so great oh my gosh i think her books really like trans transform you transform you transport you to a different place and they are so relatable what i love about her books is that they're so 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 relatable and i absolutely love this one one that i haven't gotten to read but i've seen on so many of my favorite uh uk and american youtubers and i can't wait to start reading it the subtle art of not giving a Oh, the rupee one is 246. I got this from Exclusive Books. And I also got this one from Exclusive Books as well. And it's 308. And this is uh, pretty much a number one international bestseller. It's by a guy called Mark Manson. I haven't read it before. So I'll definitely do a review on this once I do. But uh, I've seen it on so many of my favorite YouTubers channels. And I thought I'm going to jump on that. So I did. And then the next one is one thing that I've been buying quite a lot are clothes uh, from Superbulist. I've literally been having times and moments on Superbulist that is just ridiculous. And I can't even decide whether I should just basically do a clothing haul or clothing try on haul or should I just take pictures and then you guys will see them on my Instagram. I don't know. But I've been taking quite spending quite a lot of time and money on Superbulist. And one of the things that I recently got and I love it for the autumn time is this jersey um, dress it's basically a sweater dress as you can see it's quite long and I love it I got it in black and gray I bought the sweater dress in black and in gray as well and I absolutely love them I've already worn the black one it's so nice it flows on the body really really pretty I love it and this one is was from was this from Vera Moda yes this was from Vera Moda on Superbalist which is one of my favorite brands to shop on when I'm on Superbalist but yeah okay the final things are bags the reason why I purchased uh, two bags is because I felt like I needed a new everyday bag and you guys can imagine you guys know I love black So um, for everyday bags. I love Zara. I think Zara has great everyday bags It's also got great evening bags and you know dress up -y kind of bags So I decided to go for one everyday bag and one evening bag. I Bought these bags maybe like three weeks ago I still haven't switched bags for the everyday bag because just I'm a mess, okay? The first one is the baby. Hey, it's so pretty. I love the detailing right here with the chain effect. I actually love this. This is the one that I bought as an everyday bag. I wanted like, it's very toty. It's a very toty kind of bag. I wanted like an everyday bag so I could switch from the one that I've been using for the last couple of months. And this one was 759. Um, doesn't have a particular name. No. It's it's got a code for the bag, but it doesn't have a name and it says it's in the medium size. So I love this one because of the chain detailing, but also that it's easy, it's easy access, it doesn't have a zip or anything like that, but it does have um, little clips so that you can close it. As you can see, I haven't used it, it's still got the paper on the inside because, yeah, I'm a mess like that. Huh? And then one of my favorite purchases, which I never expected to uh, buy from Zara, is this bag which I typically would use as an evening bag that's how it looks it is so, it's so pretty like I'm not I'm not the girly girl kind of girl so I wouldn't get a bag that's like too girl like if you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm not that okay I'm not that but this bag just sort of reminded me of the um, Sarah Steph Sarah Stella McCartney bags all because of the detailing and also how it comes in suede it's got a bit of suede here and leather there and it is real leather so this one was quite uh, a little bit more on the pricey side I think it was around the thousand rand mark I took it out yeah I took the price tag off evidently but 
I do remember it was around the thousand rand mark and I thought it would be an awesome evening bag. And you can adjust the straps, you can make, you can pull, what? you can pull on this to make it slightly longer or you can pull both of them to make it um, shorter, which typically is the style that I would go for. Absolutely love it. I think it is a stunning bag. The chain detailing going right across the front of the bag, a lot, it's, it's pretty much the same chain as on the handle of the bag that goes across right across there. And I love the suede as well. And oh, just the leather. It's, it's a really, really beautiful bag. Yep, that is pretty much all from me for this collective haul. I can't talk because I haven't filmed in such a long time. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I will definitely check you, definitely check you in the next video.